And now we're here. And now we're live. Yes, thank you. That was, uh, we recorded that, what, uh, like 1.30 tonight? Seems like a long time ago now. Yeah, but it was, I, it was, I had a great time. But it was actually just a few moments ago. Uh -huh. yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming. This is Andrew WK. Hello, everyone. Um, we're here in Manhattan. We're here in Manhattan, the Lower East Side. Really amazing experience so far. And I have a history with this building. One of my oldest friends in New York lives in this building. And I was walking down the street. I, I found that it was on 10th Street. Well, we, because we have Andrew WK here, we, we have lots of fun things to talk about. Please. Um, I love your music, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, and one thing, I've never been, I, I saw you play a solo piano set, but I've never been to one of your full-blown party concerts. And I read that people actually get on stage. You let people get on stage. That has happened. That has happened. And I've been very excited about seeing what people do when they get up there. Mm -hmm. There's a loss of ego and a different kind of awareness about yourself where people get free in a nice way. So I've always liked having people dance up there because it really enforces that the whole room is an experience. It's mm -hmm. not just uh, stage versus audience. A lot of people have been able to break those boundaries. I think that's an important part. You can still have separation, but to have some sense that reminds you you're in the midst of something. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it seems there's a lot of, you, you put a lot of positive messages into your music and just you as a person, you're very positive. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you very much. Um, actually, you had, you used to go on speaking, t you had a speaking tour? I've been doing that. Yeah, I have actually one coming up at Yale. Oh, awesome. On March 5th, I think. That's exciting. I went there. I you went did? To yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What was that like? Um, did you go to Toad's Place? I did go to Toad's Place, but yeah. not a lot of people used to go there all that much. Oh. It um, has a mono sound system, is that correct? I don't think so. so it had one main speaker in the middle? They do have a big speaker in the middle, but I think you can get sort of stereo. I played there a couple times. It's, it's fun. And then that's actually a really good venue to have like a big rocking concert. Yeah. yeah. Are, and are you playing at, at Toad's? No. I'm just going to be at the school. Uh, the music undergrad or graduate school? No, it's uh, a master's T. I don't think it has anything. That's to do so music. exciting! Yeah, that's when they sit you down and you basically get to you deal sit. one on one and you sit, sit and there talk. and talk like, like this. this. Yeah, exactly. I wish we had some tea. No, I'm glad you don't have tea. <laughs> I don't want any tea. I had, okay, I had that beer. That was good. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, on this show, you're not only just a musician and composer. You also and a speaker. You're also a producer, right? I've been recording with other people. Yeah recording some other people's music and contributing to other people's mm -hmm. music. Well, w uh, one of the most interesting things I think you're doing that, or that you've done is worked with Lee Scratch Perry. Yeah, this and drawing you've done is, is really, I'm even familiar. I didn't see you drawing well, let's show which the, picture let's show you the were camera. using. Here's my, this, my portrait of Lee Scratch Perry. But I was, I'm familiar with this picture. He has green hair in mm -hmm. that picture, right? Yeah. I just, that's my method. Is Maybe green, red, and yellow. Green, red, and yellow. My method is that I, um, did you get it? My method is that I just, I go to, I Google image search. Okay. And I find an image that appeals to me and that's easy to draw. Because I originally tried to do a, a profile. I, and I remember that. <laughs> you struggled a bit, but it wasn't, it was understandable that yeah. there's less information well, to portray. Tell me about the project with Lee Scratch Perry. And, and just to fill in people, I mean, he's a great reggae, dub, producer, innovator. Yes, exactly. He's considered a pioneer by many. I would consider them that. I would consider him on the level of the greatest 20th century artistic figures. And if it comes to music and other producers, then right up with George Martin. Uh, one of the great musical visionaries. So being mm -hmm. able to be around someone like that is a great privilege and an honor. And it really comes down to serving him. Mm -hmm. And everyone that's around him seems to be aware that it's a great privilege to be in his presence and just provide, facilitate his mm -hmm. creative impulse. Well, with your music, are you influenced by that sort of dub sound? Or the... Maybe very fundamentally, I like that it's looking for new angles on sound. But I hadn't been that familiar with him, to mm -hmm. be honest. I had heard his name and heard his music, but I had friends that had almost all his records and had books they were reading about him and were very tuned in. Mm -hmm. And that's how I had first heard about him was perfectly through friends. So when I got to meet him, I was curious in a way I might not have been if I had... Maybe I would have been even more nervous or something because he's an intense guy. Mm -hmm. But he's new to me, and I think he'll always be new. I think he is always new, so I'm almost glad that I got to see him new, like a new experience rather mm -hmm. than any context. 
Well, yeah, I'm sure it must have been a fantastic experience. I'm very grateful. I, it's not done yet. When does it come out? Uh, it will come out sometime this year, but I'm just finishing it up over the rest of this month. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Thank you. It has a lot of great guest appearances, a lot of great people contributed. It's been a really once-in-a-lifetime experience. Thank you for asking about it. And this drawing really is great. It reminds me a little bit of my father, <laughs> actually. And another drawing that you did that I saw earlier of a different... It was uh, Musharraf. Musharraf. I thought also looked like my father a bit. <laughs> well, um, if you have any, do you have any last words? Maybe something about the movies and news? I saw half of American Gangster. I really was impressed mm -hmm. with the level of atmosphere in that movie. It really struck you me. You only saw half of it? <laughs> yeah, it was very late. It was very early in the morning, much like now. And it began to overwhelm me. Mm -hmm. So I just turned my mind onto other things. But I w enjoyed seeing it. You could get to f it's just this feeling. I mean, of course, it's an amazing story as mm -hmm. well. The performances deserve to be seen all the way through. But you could also just get a, a headspace. So I like that film. Mm -hmm. That's my two cents on there. I'd like to see the rest of it. Well, yeah, I hope to see the whole thing. I haven't seen it yet. I think but you'd I, like that. What I would really like to do is I want you to tell me when your next big fun party concert is. Oh, well. If, if that's coming up. Because the, the way it was described Canada. online and your fan base is really supportive. They've been very kind. And I'm very grateful for all the people that have come to the shows. We just did one in Toronto. And I'm going back to Canada in March to do... Mm -hmm. Two more like that. These are these solo performances. It's different. It's different than the one that you saw. Like yeah. You know what you're saying? But there'll be all different kinds of shows and expanding in all directions. Yeah, the one that I saw was you playing at pianos and it was a solo piano set. And your piano sounded beautiful. Uh, Thank just you With the much. reverb in it. And I thought your performance was really excellent. You did a good job of the sound there. It processed it very mm -hmm. well. All right. Well, Andrew, thank hey. you so much. Thank you. Um, so that's, our, that's all we got for this night and this week. It's our first week. Uh, I think we had a good week. We're really happy to be here. We're going to continue being here. So keep coming back at 2.08, uh, Monday through Thursday in the AM, for the latest. Mm. <laughs> the latest show on Earth. Latest show on Earth. <laughs> right here. Where we'll tell you Who the latest. Where? We're going to tell you the latest on it. Coming from no place. <laughs>